Welcome to Feast Week, presented by Lowe's from the Value City Arena on the campus of The Ohio State University in Columbus. The Ohio State Buckeyes host the fourth-ranked UConn Huskies in the home white, UConn in the road blue. And we are underway here in Columbus. UConn off the miss, looking to run. Nelson Adota inside against Patty for the game's first two with 10. Take it away by Makarat. Kristen Williams on the run out to the basket for two. On this Buckeye basketball team. She is the only non-freshman or sophomore dressed today for Ohio State. Walker drives to the basket for her first two. Good game. Ohio State will play everybody dressed. At least 11 minutes a game. Dangerfield, yes. Itis putting a shot up and getting her first two. Nelson and Dota use that elbow to get a little bit of space and get the two. And a good shooting team so far this season, Connecticut. 33% from outside, three-point line, 45% from the field. That's a two for Walker. Coming down in transition, she's got more of that. There's something that Gino Oriema has been stressing. He wants more from Kristen Williams. Get downhill a little bit more. Not much happening offensively for UConn. Walker to Williams. They do get an open look out of all of it, and Williams knocks it down for three. Dangerfield answers with a deep three of her own. All time between UConn and Ohio State. UConn winning the previous five meetings. Great feed by Nelson Adota, the assist to Williams. Pressing, keeping the spacing open against the zone and options against the man, but he loved the thought of going inside. He looks right at Rebecca. Here in Columbus. Well, if they need us to head to the point, <laughs> we'd glad to go. Walker turns around and Dangerfield finds her. We've got Mikko Shakova hit a three. Patty's hit a three. As Uha's hit one, everybody over 6'4", hit the three. <laughs> Makarat, who has struggled shooting, seemed to find her touch against Virginia, is 0 for 4 from the field today. Walker straight away for three. Right now, Ohio State, they've got the confidence right now. They're playing at home, settled in. Williams on the perimeter. Walker, Dangerfield will try again. This one is good. It's like everything's been going so well. No need to take an ill-advised early shot in shot clock. And Williams makes Ohio State pay on the other end by banking in the three-pointer. There's a cut to the basket. Good feed by Walker as Williams gets the two. That's number nine, and there's turnover number seven for Ohio State. Griffin. A little out of control, but gathered herself. The freshman gets her first points. Was to St. John's at home under UConn's long home winning streak. Seven years ago. Dangerfield rattles it in. 6-4 again, 6-5 down low. Walker, tough shot, challenged by Wone and gets it to go. First points of the second half for Megan Walker, 11 for the game. A team that does not have a deep bench. Well, I don't see the Connecticut players getting in those starting blocks. Like, you can tell they put their heads down and flat out sprint. And I haven't seen that as much from them today. I think you just saw it. Yeah. I think you just saw it. Someone in the future, but this team doesn't have the experience and the diverse talents of past teams, but they still are Connecticut, and they still do a great job scoring out of, out of bounds plays. Dangerfield, two more for Crystal Dangerfield. She has a season high 17 points. For a while, made a little noise after that Miller three. Can Kyla Irwin silence the crowd? Kyla Irwin just makes shots. I tell you, Gino talks about, you know, players think that when they come to Connecticut, they're just going to be great. But you have to, as a player. Nelson Adota playing with four. UConn, no problem breaking the press, getting a layup out of it. Down to four. Dangerfield's going to have to force one. It's a runner off the window for two. You experience with a young team. She said, you know that's going to be there, but it's a matter and all in how you handle it. On the back cut, the finish by Dangerfield. 
Head coach Kevin McGoff says, let's settle back. There's a lot for Ohio State to take from this game. They won't take a win, but they learned a little something about this young team here today. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe for Connecticut, with Connecticut for a long while today. They played with patience. They did, for the most part, take care of the basketball against a top-ranked team in the country. So Kevin McGuff has this film on tape that he can, for the rest of the season, refer back to. For Connecticut, they improved to 5-0 and on the season with a 73-62 win.